What's up guys, my name is Lou, and if you notice, I'm not playing Tactics. I'm actually playing Borderlands 2. I'm going to be playing... Actually, this is probably the one character that I probably haven't played. And that's Salvador. I do have a few heads for Salvador. I'm going to keep the name. And basically what I'm going to try to do with this is make a few videos for Borderlands 2 since the pre-sequel is coming out soon. Oh, I can't skip that. Um, I'm going to try to do try to do just a regular story run with Salvador. So, yeah, but I'm just going to try to play through it. Regular story, no DLC, no Headhunter, none of that stuff. And again, I mean, I've never played Salvador. I've had this game for a while. I, it just Salvador was just one of those characters that never really appealed to me too much. So, okay, he can punch. Jump. Jump. There we go. Ammo. Oh, yeah, because I got this game like day one. All right, so. Yeah, that won't. What is this? All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I want to go fast. Got to go fast. up uh. Uh, I don't think we're very safe, because there's Knuckle Dragger. Oh no, my eyeball! Yep. Climb. Jump. <laughs> Yay, cabinet guns. Money, ammo, money. Okay. Yeah, you're not a very good leader there, Claptrap. I would not want you leading me anywhere. Speaking of Claptrap, he's actually going to be a playable character in the pre sequel. As well as Athena from Borderlands 1, Wilhelm, and the Sheriff. So you basically have two Borderlands 1 characters, because we count Claptrap 1 and 2, 
and you have uh, yeah, Athena from Borderlands 1, I, like lost my train of thought, and then Wilhelm and then the Sheriff. Now, if you haven't had a chance yet, I would definitely try to play this game. Like, e even like one time, just go through, the, go through the story once. This game is really good, and, and if you don't want to pay for all the DLC, they do have a Game of the Year edition, which practically has everything minus, I believe, two... Uh, I believe the Headhunters and the other uh, upgrade pack. Uh, level cap. Dead and dead. Now, like I said before, I've played this game quite a lot. I've I've played every character, minus uh, obviously Salvador. He's the only one I haven't touched. But I've been trying to think of a reason why to do play him, and I figured it's been a long time since I played this game. So I figured, why not I just sit around and enjoy this fantastic game until the pre-sequel comes out. Oh, you're dead. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to switch that out for the pistol. Because I know that... Handsome Jack. Probably one of my favorite villains. He, he, he's just so well-rounded, so arrogant and pompous, just telling you all the time, just stop being alive because I'm I'm the good guy, you're the bad guy, and I can't wait to get more of him out of the pre-sequel. Oh, and there's Knuckle Dragger. This one's gonna hurt. Throw. Explosion. Maybe looking the right way probably would have helped me. Alright. Pick up that health clip. Dead. Dead. Come here. Come here. Dead. And Knuckle Dragger. Now, again, for people who have never played these before, they have unique wet like enemies and like for example, Knuckle Dragger. And they could drop a various amount of weapons. Alright, that's great. Level 2. I already have that. Uh, 
Thank you, Claptrap. Okay, let's go. Do stuff. Do work. 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 You goon. God, I wish I could really just punch him. I am definitely not playing Claptrap in the pre-sequel. I don't care. I am not playing him. <laughs> he will be the Salvador. <laughs> he will be the Salvador in that game for me. I just... Uh, we'll need that. Phase shift. Yay, access granted. Got a big treasury chest. I'm definitely gonna open this fucker up. Oh, shotgun. So that. That sniper round's always good. All right, come here, claptrap. Yay! Cleaning up the berg. All right, chapter two, cleaning up the berg. That should be easy and hopefully fun, but mainly easy. So again, if you've never seen, never really played this game before, um, you get skills and different guns and all that fun, fun stuff. It's a mix of a first person shooter and an RPG. So it's really interesting how you incorporate gunplay and, you know, leveling up and basically looking for new gear all the time. Oh shit. Should have been probably paying attention. Why am I still crouched? Where are you? Oh, there. Oh, let me get down there. The fuck are they shooting at? Oh, they're probably shooting at me. Oh, oh come on. Yeah, screw this. There we go. Come here. Of course, now you want to fucking talk to me.
dead. There we go. He sounds like he can, like, barely speak. Like, every, like, three sentences he needs to take more breaths of air because he's losing. He can't maintain speech. See the most gentlemanly badass around. Sir Hamelock. Hunter, scholar, gentleman. Oh, he's so cool. There you go. Alright. So he's gonna go jam that in. Quick, I'm gonna go get... That. Slam. Punch. Punch. <laughs> Fucking claptrap, flip him off. <laughs> oh, Hammerlock, you're so fucking cool. You were the coolest. You were the coolest of all the cool guys. All right. All right, so we have a job here. This town ain't big enough for the both of us. So finish that one. Oh, we got a shield modulator now. All right. So right now, I have a whole bunch of guns. They're pretty garbage. Wow, that's pretty dark. <laughs> I couldn't hear you over the sound of your arm breaking. Nice. All right, so I'm just gonna ammo up quick and get rid of the stuff that I don't need. Uh. Maybe hold on to that shotgun. Ooh, 
Ooh, Grant's meeting against Corrosive, but we're not at Corrosive yet. You always want to be on the lookout for better equipment. All the time. So, I'm going to do this town ain't big enough. Now, again, if you haven't played this game before, you get a shield. And with the shield, basically what happens is, is that they have to go through that before... ...you get to your actual health. Punch. All right. No one's alive. That's okay. Like I said, I mean, I don't know how what I actually want to do with this yet. I might just play certain parts like show certain parts of it i just want to show the beginning just so you guys could if you guys again never have seen this before or have never you know actually experienced borderlands 2 before that you actually got to look at it and get a taste of it and hell maybe even want to try and pl pick up the game and try it for yourselves it is a fun game i mean it's fantastic i love it so i mean i i can't say anything more good about it. It has a ton of very, very good DLC. I mean, very varied classes. A lot of Easter eggs, pop culture references. It's just, just a great, great. It's all well rounded. Like the story's very good. The characters are great. Like, there's nobody that really fades into the background too, too much. That, you know, you, you're you like, oh, well, I know, oh, this guy. Oh, okay, whatever. You know, that you don't, they all have their own little stories, and you all can, and all of them can get, you can get invested into. I'm going to just hand this in here. But but I think this is a good point to where to stop it here. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching this. Um, I'm sorry I wasn't very talkative. I was just trying to explain more things to people that have never played Borderlands 2 before. <laughs> and then the next part, you know, we won't be here. I will tell you that much. At the... The next part will probably be in Sanctuary, talking about your main hub town. Like I said, this isn't going to be like an out, like a let's play of it. It's just going to be explaining, trying to explain parts of the universe and just me trying to play through Salvador. But anyway, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that Razma jazz. There's a whole bunch of links down in the description you can check out all of, you know, our the Deadly Since Facebook. You can check out Paul's channels down at Hitbox and his gaming channel. Uh, you know, our thing for GoFundMe.com. You can go check that out too. But again, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoy these, you know, just let me know. And don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel with the, the Final Fantasy Tactics videos. So again, I want to thank you all so much for watching. And hopefully I'll...